today's video, I wanted to go over products that I absolutely can live without. These are things that I have collected over the past several months that honestly, whether I've gotten them in a subscription box or I've bought them at the Dollar Tree or I've bought them at the pharmacy, they're just products that I am not loving, not using, not reaching for. So I just wanted to go through all these products and show you what they are. I have my hair in a ponytail all day, so it's got this really weird, funky wave going through it right now. I put it up while it was wet, so that's what that is going on right there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started right off the bat. Um, I have two small baskets here to go through, so let's get started. So the first product that I absolutely can live without is my City Color Flawless Loose Powder. This is in the shade Light. And this powder has served me well. I have used quite a bit of it, honestly, but now that I have my um, e.l.f. Ultra HD powder, it's much finer, much more finely milled, and it goes on smoother, and it's translucent. I like that much more, so this I can get rid of. Another product that I can also get rid of is my Orbe um, Wave and Shine Spray that I got in a sample box. I don't use it, I don't reach for it, I don't like the way it smells. Everybody raves about the smell of Orbe products and they rave about how amazing it is and they love everything about it. It's very expensive. It is unrealistic for me to ever purchase a full-size product of this and honestly, I just don't use it, I don't reach for it, so definitely live without. Another product that I can get rid of is this Colormate um, Compact Makeup in Light. I purchased this for my Dollar Tree video and I used it as a concealer and while it worked pretty well, it's not a concealer, it creases and it just makes me break out so that's gone. Also at the Dollar Tree I bought this Sassy and Chic foundation. I broke out so bad from this. I will never use this again. This is going in the trash. This product I received in a sample box. I think it was my BoxyCharm last month. This is the Butter London Nail Polish, and you guys saw my review video on this. If you did not, go back a few videos, you'll find it. Terrible nail polish, never dries. Love the color, doesn't work for me. Just will not dry. I can live without this. Another product that I can honestly live with or live without, um, I have other eyeshadows that are similar to these, um, similar shades that work much better, is my LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow. And this palette is called Matterific. It's just a basic um, matte nude palette. I can honestly live without this. This guy right here, I definitely live without this. This is the Beauty Treats Eyeshadow Palette in Natural 01 or 01 Natural. No, I can definitely get rid of that. I have here my e.l.f. cream eyeliner. Do not like, don't care for it at all. It's chunky, it's not black enough, and I just don't like it. I also have my Color Mates eyeshadow palette, and this thing is terrible. It says 12 long wearing fashion eyeshadow colors. It is awful. It doesn't have any pigment, it's powder, it's chalky. It can go. This right here is my Color Mates um, Brow Powder, and neither one of the shades works well for me, so I haven't reached for this in a really long time, and this is going in the trash. As well as this. This is my LA Colors 6 Color Eyeshadow Palette, and it's got pretty pinks, browns, some nudes, purples. It's okay. Don't reach for it. It's gone. I have not used this one time. I purchased this to review it. I love the colors. I like the idea of it. Have not used it. I'm just not a blue eyeshadow kind of girl. So this is going bye bye. As well as my e.l.f. smudge pot, and this is the one in the shade Cruising Chic. This is really nice to put underneath like metallic bronzy shades, but I find that I just don't reach for this one as much. I use my other one more. Um, Ain't It Sweet, I think is the name of the shade, so this one can go. And let's see. Oh, I am not, I could not be more happy to get rid of this product. This is the Wet n Wild Chrome Correct um, Concealer. People rave about this. They call this a dupe for um, Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff is awful. 
it is awful. It is sticky. It creases like crazy. It actually creates wrinkles under my eyes where there are no wrinkles. Like, I don't need to look older. I'm trying to look younger. This doesn't do that. I hate this. This is awful. I would set this on fire if I could. Absolutely terrible product. I don't reach for this at all. This is another LA Colors palette in the name Orchid. Don't reach for it. Don't use it. I don't need to have it in my life. I need to make room for new things. The most awful mascara I have ever used in my life. This is the Lash Blast Fusion Water Resistant Mascara from CoverGirl. Absolutely awful. Doesn't give length, doesn't give volume. It is waterproof, it is difficult to remove. Not worth it. Another product I can get rid of is my Milk Highlighter Sample that I got, I think in my Birch Box, I can't remember. Um, it's, it's awful. It doesn't do a good, I don't like cream highlighters. It doesn't, it's not, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't show enough for what it is because being that it's cream, you have to put it on before you set your face and then once you put powder over it, it's gone. You don't see it. It's absolutely gone. There's no highlight whatsoever. I find it absolutely pointless. So yeah, that's going in the garbage. Um, my Color Mates eyeliners, I have a blue, a purple and a black. The black I'm throwing out because it's pretty much empty and the purple, it's just not pigmented. It's not, it doesn't look cute. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those. Um, my Mana Kadar eyeshadow, it's not pigmented. Again, it works okay as a highlight, but it's just, there's not enough payoff for me to keep it. It's not worth it. I'm not reaching for it at all. So that's going bye-bye. And of course, my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Trio. This in Smoky Sea. There's no pigment in any of these colors, none. I didn't even bother trying it wet, and I'm sure there would be more pigment if I used it wet, but honestly, not colors I would necessarily grab for, so no, not keeping it. This is sad to see go because I love this mascara, but I have been finding a lot of newer mascaras that I'm enjoying much more, and this is past its prime, so it's got to go anyway. And lastly, in this basket is my Make Lipstick Sample. Garbage. Garbage. You guys saw my video on it. It's garbage. And for $25 for the full size, you've got to be kidding me. Garbage. All right. My next one is my Rimmel uh, Natural Bronzer. This is a shimmery bronzer and it is beautiful. It does blend really easily. It's just too light for my skin tone. I need a bronzer that's a little bit cooler and a little bit deeper. So that's why I'm getting rid of that one. And speaking of deeper, this one is also shimmery. It is also deeper. It is the bronze blush color from LA Colors. And it's just, it's too shimmery for a bronzer for me. I don't like my bronzer to be ultra shimmery. So that's why that one's gotta go. I, just, I don't reach for it at all. Um, next, I have my Beauty Treats Velvet Matte Lipstick. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips. It is not a bad lipstick. It has good pigment, it is matte, it stays on for a long time. Not a bad lipstick at all. I just don't reach for it. I don't use it. I, I don't use it. So why am I gonna keep it? I don't use it. Another product is the LA Colors Chunky Lip Crayon. Absolutely do not use this at all. Uh, crayons are a fun idea in my mind, but I don't like them for lips. I just don't tend to pull for them, don't reach for them, don't use them at all. I'd rather use a liquid, liquid lipstick or a regular um, bullet shaped lipstick. These three items I'm kind of shocked that I have put in this basket only because the idea of them were so great and I love the colors, I love the pigment, I love the creaminess. These are the Essence liquid lipsticks and these are not matte, these are glossy lipsticks. But my issue with them and why I don't reach for them anymore is because they get everywhere. They bleed into the lines. They don't last very long. They're not very long wearing. They're, like I said, whoops. They're beautiful colors. They're gorgeous. But I just don't wear them because you have to constantly keep reapplying and you have to keep cleaning your line and you have to make sure you have liner. And it's just irritating, so I don't bother with these anymore. 
And these two are the LA Colors lipstick, Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duos. Um, these are just two shades that I don't reach for at all. I still love these lipsticks. I think they're great. The lip glosses are great. But these two shades, one's too nude, the other one's way too bright. It comes out Barbie pink. And it's just the two shades I don't really wear. I don't reach for them very much at all. I like mauve tones, deeper tones, um, pinker tones, like, you know, deep pinks, not um, bright pinks. So I just don't reach for these anymore. And my LA Colors Baby Balm Lips is also the same thing. It's too bright of a pink color. This is a little more purpley than Barbie Pink, but still just not a great color. Don't reach for it. Don't like it. Don't use it. And it's actually Color Balm. It's a LA Colors ripoff of Baby, baby Lips, so I apologize for calling it Baby Lips. But anyway, those are all the products that I am getting rid of so that I can make room to make my collection grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use any of these products and if you like them, what you like about them. I'm not necessarily hating on all these products. Some of them I used for a long time. I just don't reach for them anymore, so I need to clear them out. Uh, the only one I'm seriously hating on is that Wet n Wild Chrome Correct Concealer. Totally hate on that. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click subscribe down below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. You can follow me on social media. I am Angela That Babe on Instagram and I am YouTube That Babe on Twitter and Snapchat. I love you guys so much and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye.